All right, so today we're talking about our favorite multiplayer maps. And uh, my first real big multiplayer game that I played was Counter-Strike. I was way into Counter-Strike in high school. I was actually competitive and got all the way up to Cal M, uh, which was the one down from the professional league. So I was pretty good at the game. Uh, my favorite map ever is probably, and it's so overplayed now, but Dust 2. Original Dust was good, and they rebalanced it in the new one, but Dust 2 was so amazing, sniping people through the double doors back when I used to have good reaction time. But uh, the thing about those maps is they were just so well balanced. They had these sort of forced conflict points and it was just such great map design. I really wish everyone that made multiplayer maps nowadays would just study how Counter-Strike maps are made and, and the way they're laid out because it really is, to me, no better multiplayer maps than in Counter-Strike. Although I am gonna have to pick one from another game uh, for my next pick. <laughs> but, uh, but Dust 2, definitely excellent. All right, favorite multiplayer maps. Uh, let's talk about Big Game Hunters. It was a custom map for StarCraft. It was awesome. Uh, all, the, all the minerals and gas you could ever want to build a huge army of Zerglings and Hydralisks. It was cool because you didn't have to really take over and spread out as much. It was just kind of a go, 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 build up your army, and then crush the other guy thing. And it was fun to play the maps where you had to take expansions and stuff like that. But in Big Game Hunters, it was just all about building up as fast as you can and then crushing your opponent. It was a lot of fun. So when you're looking at multiplayer games, I think uh, we don't give enough love to the actual design of a multiplayer stage and how much fun they actually can be. Um, I, I'm gonna actually go for my first one with Mass Effect 3 was the fire-based dagger stage. They're all like fire-based something. Uh, this one was dagger. Now this is the one where it's like the satellites on the outside, but it was two level, you had the like the cargo area, and then there were two entrances into like this long hallway with a little uh, spire on top that you can actually use as a lookout. But see me, I was always playing as an Asari adept, which you just like, you do your little uh, stasis bubble, you get that like fully up, and so you'd like funnel everyone through the tunnel, and you're like, all right, I got this. Boom, stasis bubble, everyone's frozen, everyone walking in, it's frozen, so you just have the rest of your team just like, everything they got going down the tunnel. Uh, it's actually one of the only stages where I can be like, oh, you guys want to get a bunch of money and beat gold? All right, cool. Dagger with anybody. But then uh, when you find the Geths, like those stupid guys, like the fire guys didn't freeze, and you know, like the, the giant Geth didn't freeze, so they were kind of exempt to that. But still, I liked the stage. It was really easy to be able to uh, get your team into like specific hot points. Like if you have people coming from behind, it's like, all right, you take the south side. All right, you guys are on the lookout of me. I got the long, narrow hallway. When they all storm in, we huddle up in the meadow. Yeah, it was good. It was good. It was like, well, I liked it. I liked the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, and I'm glad they put it in, especially that stage. I think for my next one, I, I got to go with, uh, it's some of you might hate on this because it's from a Call of Duty game. It's from Modern Warfare 2. I really loved High Rise. High Rise was an interesting map because it had the two levels to it. It was a multi-level map, which was good. Uh, you could either go underneath, like kind of through the buildings, and there were like little places you could hide in the offices, like if you climb the ladder up to that lighting fixture. But then you also had the cool stuff, like you could hide out on the crane and snipe people. It definitely made for a, for a cool multiplayer experience. You could even shoot at the very beginning of the game cross map and try to hit people through the windows. Uh, so there were really cool choke points and lots of little fun places to hide. So it was a lot of mayhem. And you know the Call of Duty games are crazy anyway and sort of arcadey. And High Rise, I thought, just brought the best out of that game. And let's go with the facility in GoldenEye 64. Man, the facility was awesome because you had the bathrooms and you never know who could be lurking in a bathroom stall ready to pop out and kill you. Because you could stand on the toilet so they couldn't really see your feet. And then they pop out and kill you with like a rocket launcher. Or you could leave proximity mines in the stalls and some of them had weapons in there. So when they went in to get the weapons, you know, they blow up with the proximity mines. That was awesome. And plus it had the little windowed area where you could see the guys going into the next room, into that like long hallway area. And if you had like a, a cougar or something that could shoot through the bulletproof glass, you could light them up from in there and they didn't know where they were getting shot from really. It was just an all around fun level. And then you had that long hallway area that just became a corridor of death uh, when everyone was trying to get like get to the body armor or something. It was awesome, man, so much fun. Ooh, and playing it on Golden Gun where the Golden Gun's at the bottom of the steps and if you get there, you have to watch for people coming down the steps or people coming down the hallway to kill you and take your golden gun. Man, just a lot of fun had on that map. All right, for multiplayer maps, come on, someone has to mention something from Halo. Um, it, and from Halo 2, and also... <laughs> God, overrated is good! Halo 2, awesome, but also 
also was in Halo 3, and that's actually where I played it the most. It was uh, the Zanzibar stage, or most commonly known as the stage with the giant f***ing fan. Uh, you started, you had like the beach on one side, and like the main base on the other side, and then in the middle, there was like this giant fan! And, like a little mini base here, but more importantly, like there was that, you had the, the, the warthog there with the gun, you can get a ghost in there trying to storm in and try to get in. Uh, man, that was our favorite stage, um, uh, in, in Halo 3, because it was just so much like, there was so much that could happen, and also, if you knew where it was at, you can get the sniper rifle and then kind of just jump on the side rocks onto like this this uh, little perch that was really hard to get it to, and you can see like the entire rest of the field and just kind of snipe people away. Ah, so good, so much fun. Spent so much time playing that game. Like, it'd be terrible. we're not going to sleep till like four o'clock in the morning just playing Halo 3, waiting for the Zanzibar map. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. That's why we're single, because we play a lot of video games. You get the joke.